You, the men and women of the CIA, are the eyes and ears of the free world. The U.S. and the CIA are working to overthrow the Syrian government. This puts us in direct head-to-head -head conflict with Russia. When dictators commit atrocities, they depend upon the world to look the other way. The question now is what the United States of America is prepared to do about it. Holy fuck! Developing right now news that the CIA busted an Al-Qaeda bomb plot targeting a U.S.-bound airliner. We don't want to go and do what happened in Iraq with Saddam Hussein, do what happened in Libya with Gaddafi, because these are countries that have fallen into chaos. Today, I ordered our armed forces to strike at terrorist-related facilities in Afghanistan and Sudan because of the threat they present to our national security. I take it you have some recollection of the Iran-Contra event? Yes, it was a covert action that was taken in at my behest. And did you surmise that this was a, a way of trying to, to cover up something? I don't use the word cover up, I would use the word protect. President Richard Nixon and his then National Security Advisor Henry Kissinger privately admitted to a CIA assassination attempt in Chile. This government, as promised, has maintained the closest surveillance of the Soviet military buildup on the island of Cuba. I don't think people know what's going on down here. It's crazy down here. These little banana republics out of sight, out of mind. But do you know who's down here? The CIA is here, big business is here, the Russians are here, the mafia is here. People don't recognize it, so they don't know what to call it. But what's going on down here is war. It's war. Somebody needs to tell this story. But nobody would believe it. It is too fucked up.